Okay, we're going to set up a Weebly website from scratch here. You go to Weebly.com where it says log in here. We don't want to do that yet. We want to sign up. It's free. So we're going to use the email address of the computer I'm at. First, you put in your name. This could also be the name of a ministry, a church, what have you. Um, I'm at the edit computer, so I'm going to put edit at wtjr.org. Then I usually use the email password. You know, like you have if you have a Gmail or Yahoo account, you know the password. But I just add a few characters. That way you only have to memorize uh, one password. If you watch the other videos, you saw I set up a Gmail for your Weebly account. Well, just add a few characters at the end. Okay. And I'm going to sign up then. Uh, then you have to enter their little secret code here to make sure you're not a spammer, hacker, robot. Okay. Enter a title for your website. Well, we're going to call this one WTJR edit well let's call it production department just WTTJR production we'll keep it nice and short uh, this is a group organization and we're a nonprofit see so this is where you could also enter your church like here, you see there's church, and so on and so forth. Then we hit continue. Now, later on, we'll point your name to this. But for now, since we have a free account, we're, see, look, at it says if I hit register a domain in the middle, it's going to charge me for that. Um, if I already own a domain, which most of you do, and you're transferring to Weebly, then later on we'll activate this. I did this with WTJR. I already own WTJR as a name. So at first we just want to use the free name which is the top one. A great way to get started. So you've got to call it something that makes sense. It'll let you know if it's available. So the name of your church, ministry, or whatever. And then it's going to be uh, tagged with .weebly.com at the end. But remember this isn't your permanent address. Although this address will always work, this is our construction address. So use a subdomain of Weebly so we can keep everything free for now. So we hit continue. And we're in. WTJR Production Department. It's already chosen a template for us. Now to see what you have, that, this is a, like a buffer that hasn't been created yet. You can go publish and it says use a subdomain of Weebly. Yes, hit continue. Okay. Now, this is your temporary address here. Well, temporary until you point your name here. Then you'll use your name. So make a bookmark of this. What I do right now is I click on this, and it opens in a new window. And that's what's the published result so far. Just think of it as hitting print. Okay, we just printed what exists. There's nothing there yet. They just have a blank template. So we'll hit save. We'll hit, add, I'm sorry, we'll add this to our bookmarks. Favorites, add to favorites, WTHR production. That way uh, we can uh, easily find it again because remember that's not your official name there. Well, the first thing you do, and this by the way, you leave this all this up here. That's a new feature where you can have them go to your Facebook and stuff. You can remove that if you want to is find a design that's close. Remember you can chain this so you hit design. You can change this later. All this can be changed later and somehow it's locked up on me. There we go. We find a design that's close. You know you can look at these generic you can walk through all these. There's hundreds of them. But you know since we're just doing a generic uh, site here we'll just find a design that's close and actually the one we're on now is close to what I want. 
So this is design we'll work with and then from here on we just start adding our elements which is a different video. But I just wanted to show you how to get started and then all you have to do is close this and see so it says you're added, you're logged in here and you can log out. Now every time you go here you can just log in and uh, click remember so you, you just put your email at it at wtgr.org then I'll put my password now log in now I'm building this for someone I want them to add me as an editor uh, because I want to help them design their template and that's the nice thing about Weebly is you can add editors so my refer let's see and I haven't done this because I haven't added anybody uh, for each friend who joins Weebly da, 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 you can get friends to join Weebly there it looks like uh, let's check our account support nah we don't want any of that I'm not certain where you add the editors so let's go back to my site sorry about that <laughs> we'll hit edit I've never really added an editor. People have added me, but uh, here we go. Editors. So you go here. Editors. Click here to add somebody. Okay. So I want to add my other Weebly account. I'm going to add as a minister. And I'll just enter that person's email here. And it will be sent to them. And then they'll acknowledge it. And then they can log in and edit. And you can limit their access if you just want them to publish stories or just, you know, even if you go with the pro account, they can only have certain pages or certain articles they can edit, which is really nice uh, if you're collaborating on a project. So this is the ad editors. This is what I'm going to ask someone to do. So once I'm added as administrator of their account, I can go in and help them create a template that will clone their account they have now. Thanks. God bless. Remember, we're working till Jesus returns. Amen.